one and a half million African riverbank inhabitants can avoid the transmission of schistosomiasis by adding a simple fish ladder that will help to restore the ecosystem. Hi, I'm Nicolas Juinard, and this is the giant prawn that can stop the transmission of schistosomiasis because it eats the snails that carry the parasite. Senegal, West Africa has the highest transmission of schistosomiasis in the world. One and a half million people living along the Senegal River will be protected from schisto when we restore the prawn population to the size it was before the dam. From 1920 until the dam was built, schisto rates averaged from 1 to 4 percent. In the very same places today, over 80 percent of the people are infected. Our preliminary data shows that prawns present at the village watering points like this one cut the prevalence in half and reduced the parasite load 15 times lower than our control site that had no prawns. But we can't protect one and a half million people unless the hundreds of thousands of prawns we supply are able to reproduce on their own. That can only be achieved with a fish ladder at the base of the dam that will allow them to climb over the dam and into the river above and continue their migration to the fresh waters where they can settle and eat the snails that will reduce the transmission of schistosomiasis. Like other crustaceans, they walk and leap over the dam where they can get to the snails and clean the water of parasites. We'll design a prawn ladder for the Diama Dam by conducting tests in a controlled setting at a small dike. There is an indigenous local prawn for every river in Africa, but there is not a single fish ladder in Africa yet. Therefore, the Prawn Ladder Project can also serve as a template for liberating trapped freshwater prawns all over Africa, wherever dams have contributed to the epidemic rates of schistosomiasis.